Okay, so today we're going to discuss about uh, uh, the protein protein interaction study. Why is in the string? Okay, so here these are the gene set we retrieved from the uh, microarray microarray analysis. Okay, these are the uh, differential expressed gene, which is I mean they consist of uh, it can the list gene consist of uh, both upregulated and downregulated genes. So for one of our data sets, so we have a gene. Uh, Approximately 90 genes are there. Okay, so when you see this one, so there are approximately 90 genes are there. I just want to construct a protein protein interaction network for these 90 genes. Okay, so here I just pasted the uh, whole 90 genes and then I selected uh, mm, the Homo sapiens. Okay, so Homo sapiens as organism and click on the search. Okay, so here uh, automatic the string program recognize. Uh, database recognize the database uh, it, it, it recognize the gene name by its identifier and uh, it will ask you whether the same names are correct in order or not just click on continue that means we cannot look uh, whole 90 in single shot so here for the 90 you can see uh, the intensity of the network is uh, not great the number of nodes if you see this here this is a total network we click on analysis so actually we loaded 90 genes 90 genes but it comes to as say 74 nodes each node represent one gene and each edges represent the connection in between the uh, two nodes two genes okay this is called as edges and nodes are nothing but a, a genes so edges are the connectors in between the genes so we are here we are having the 74 genes so remaining gene uh, uh, the information is not available in this string database okay so here so from this one uh, we cannot we cannot uh, we cannot we cannot do much analysis we just need to uh, expand the network to check what exactly the role of uh, this differential expressed genes in uh, different uh, mechanisms okay to do this one the simple thing you just need to we just need to increase the number number of nodes to we'll try to add a double number of nodes that mean here we are having a 74 node we try to increase this one to 152 or 180 you will see the expansion of uh, number of edges also will take place then the analysis is much uh, much easier for you then you can understand um, how exactly your genes how exactly your genes group of genes play a very important role in specific pathways okay so let us expand just you just need to click the plus or uh, plus sign here so when i press sign you see here it is increasing uh, five genes in one shot okay so five to six genes it is uh, increasing okay so here so i got a 94 genes now i will try to expand this one to up to 170 or 180 number of uh, nodes okay so now you can see here the expansion of our network and also the number of edges also has been increasing so there is no method is there where you can uh, straight forward increase the number of this node even in the settings also the information in the settings also uh, the option is not available okay so here manually just need to add just want to click more so here i got approximately 160 so i will try to increase a few more and add up to i will go up to 180 So here 174. Now we got the 184 gene list. Okay, so 184 nodes. So we increase from 74 to 184 nodes. Okay, automatically you can see the number of edges which drastically increased to 1453 
uh, nodes are available okay so if you see the average uh, node degree it is around 15.8 angstroms are there and uh, average local clustering coefficient value you can see a 0 0.6 so which is uh, more or more significant even the uh body interaction elevation v value p value we can see is uh, is uh, highly significant okay so now so here you have the total list and uh, total network so next step what we need to do we just need to save export this table we just need to export this table okay so here go to download and save this one and save on this tab as string interaction network and profile give the name of this one okay so here So this is my data set. Okay. So here I save this one. Okay. So now we just want to analyze this network. Okay. So uh, we just want to analyze this network. We just want to identify how many edges are there in each group, which is a more, which is having a more significant one. Uh, what is the certainty is there? The centrality is there um, in this network. Okay. So how many degree of uh, centrality is there? All this thing we can done by the side of scale by using the side of scale. Okay, so here for this one, so we have to save this uh, uh, string file. Okay, so just open the side of scale, side of scale, and here you can see here this import option is available. Okay, so when you open the side of scale, there is import option is available. Click on the import, go to desktop. So here I save this one as a string interaction copd okay so check this one whether this nodes are correct in other or not click on ok so now it's generate you a, a, a figures for you okay where you can change the style of this figure okay so here go to layout and click on wi-fi organic layout okay once you do this one automatically the network will be changed so the major thing what we need to do here so we need to analyze this network okay as i told you we just want to know how many nodes are there how many uh how many sorry how many nodes are there in each gene okay how many um edges are there around this uh, each and every gene okay so based uh, based on that we can clear type if uh, any one of the gene <coughs> from our differential express gene if it is there then we can uh, we can easily select that gene to check for the go annotation process to check the biological or sorry to check the uh, go annotation of the specific group of uh, genes where that is very highly helpful for us to understand the, uh, what exactly the pathway they are going to involve okay so here first step what you need to do is go to tool okay before this one you just need to install an app called as a network analyzer Network. Okay, so you can see here network analyzer. If you are not able to find this one app, app manager, you can directly search in Google. Type in network analyzer at Cytoscape. You will find you will easily find out the, the plugin of this one. You just need to install that one. Once you install, you can see this one in a tool option. Okay, so just go to tool and network analyzer. Uh, network analysis okay click on net analyze network so this street that one as an indirect one okay we don't know whether it's direct or indirect so i mean just a lot of things has been involved we are specifically not know whether this is a direct or indirect network okay we just need to mention that a that treated network as a undirected one okay once you run this one automatically uh the uh one pop-out message will be display you where it will display you the message total number of nodes okay is the connected nodes are there and network density okay so the clustering coefficient connected components okay so all these values it will show you the statistical values you can save this file also you can save this statistical file in your system and major thing you just need to save is this file okay this file this is very important file you just need to save this one okay so here I'm exporting this table to desktop. So 
zero KB network analyzer. Okay, so here I'm saving this one. So once you're doing this one, so major thing you just need to note down. Okay, just again open that one network analyzer for the Excel file. Okay, so here majorly uh, we are uh, very much interested in what is as between centrality the dc value okay okay and degree of uh, centrality okay degree of centrality number of uh, direct edges number of uh, undirected edges okay so number of undirected edges are there i think most of them is zero okay so here what we need to have is so three major classes we need one is uh, between centrality Closeness of centrality, degree of centrality, vicinity of centrality, and the number of uh, direct edges are there in in, uh, in the gene in the gene list. Okay, so here and also we need to have the genes also. Okay, so here copy this three column, four column, copy one, two, three, four. And the genes name, okay. Copy them, okay. So, paste here in a new page, okay. So, cut this one, Okay, so here uh, the major thing what we are looking for uh, the degree of centrality. Okay, the degree of how much degree of centrality is there? If the number higher number indicate the higher interaction of uh, the node. Okay, so here click on filter. So degree of centrality sort by largest to smallest. Okay, so out of it here we are having the top uh, ten list. You just need to save this information to your table okay and also you just need to know so this is not our uh, gene based okay so here we added a number of uh, different type of nodes okay you just need to select this one okay you just need to select this one as a reference you just need to select this one as a reference and also you just need to cross check whether your gene with your gene list also uh, you can see that for example here i just want to check the ins why means it is having very high degree of uh, high degree of um, um, nodes and edges are there and also high degree of uh, central things there okay just copy this one and check here in this list so it's not there the information is not there you can check the next gene also like similar way so maybe egypt is uh, located in this list Can see this EGF is located okay so EGF is uh, just having a very degree, high degree of centrality you can save this information like this okay so I'm saving top uh, 10 genes information that means uh, here I'm more interested in this top 10 only okay so here copy them so out of which you just need to identify which one is uh, what are the genes especially which is located in your list in your differentially expression list okay so here i'm selecting top 15 genes and here i'm just making them as a table
so so he had disabled the table okay so now you just need to um, paste this network also okay you can change this network as i told you you can change this uh, if by using the different styles so let me choose this one okay so here i added the organic layout layout organic layout okay so this is organic layout you can change the font size the border width so select the border width increase so also we can change the edges slip very thick and change this one to 150 Okay, so now the density has been decreased. Now we'll add, I will decrease a little bit more. I will select 120. Okay, so now it's fine. So we can change the font size also. So I'll select 15, the font size. And yeah. so let's look for it. Okay, so then you can change about this color also. Okay, so now the map is uh, looks slightly better. Looking, yeah. Okay, now you can use this map. Uh, this you can use this map in application also. Okay, so the simple thing is uh, how you just save this map. So go to export. Okay, network image. So here she used the PNG one only. So click on the pixel. Okay, here you can increase the DPA resolution 600. And save this one on the desk. Okay, so the network is available. So here you just simply just need to paste this network. So around this table. This is how you can generate the network uh, networks uh, creating good interaction by using the string and network analyzer. Thank you.